What's going on guys? Matteo Daddy Mining here. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So today I'm going to show you how to mine a new coin, not really a new coin, but a coin called Gram. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what Gram is. I know it's it's uh, it's like an offshoot of uh, Ton Coin. If you guys remember, Ton Coin was temporarily mineable back in the Ethereum days. You could do back when uh, LHR was a thing. You could mine. You could dual mine uh, Ethereum and the first two choices that you had was either Toncoin or Elysium. I went Toncoin until it ran out and there was no more, and then I switched over to Elysium. Uh, I ended up mining, I think, like 200 Ton, some, somewhere in there. Uh, and Ton is actually doing pretty dang well these days. Um, here we go. So it's 430 bucks. It's up about 100% in the last 30 days. It was at about $2 or so. I'm sitting at, on about $700 worth of coin. Of Toncoin, I've just been holding it ever since. I tell you the truth, it's just on a wallet on my cell phone. I, I forget I, ha I have it half the time. But So anyways, let's go back to talking about Graham. If I could find where I was just at. Yep, here we go. So last night, you know, every day or so I check, I check profit, profitability of the GPUs that I'm using. And I saw this pop up last night. $20 a day in revenue, $15 profit after my power. Actually, that's slightly wrong for me. That is my power. Just a touch over 14 cents. So, I mean, really, that didn't do much of a difference. But still, $20 revenue, $14 in profits a day. And these are the GPUs that I'm using. I'm using 8 1660 Supers, 130 80, 130 60, 630 60 Ti's, 9 6600 XT's, 56700 XTs and a partridge in a pear tree. I have a handful of 5600 XT and 5700 XTs that I have off because the power consumption is just kind of too great for what I'm trying to do, but with profits with uh in this area being pretty dang decent, I might turn all those back on. You never know. So I saw this last night and I thought, "Oh, you know, this is probably just a a quick spike." You know, that's not really going to do anything. So I didn't, I'll, I'll wait till morning and see what's going on with it and see if it's still there. And it is still there. I figure, okay, let's let's figure out how to mine Graham. So I put all of my rigs on it except for my 3060 Ti rig. And we're doing doing pretty good. But, okay, so let's, uh, let's get in on how to mine this. Okay, so I have this node, or not what node, but I have this wallet set up on my my test wallet VM. I have a couple of different virtual machines, uh, one that has all my main tests on or my, or my main test. Man, I cannot talk today. One that has all my main wallets on it. And then I have another VM that's just kind of for new coins, test wallets and such. I don't want to just install random wallet software on my main uh, my main wallet VM for obvious reasons there. So I actually already have this up and running on my test VM. And I figured there's there's a lot more to this than just a regular Oh, get a uh, get a wallet address and hook it up to Hive OS and away you go. No, there's 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 a little bit more to it than than that. So I am on my node for ETCMC. This isn't doing really anything anymore. So if something goes wrong, I really don't care. Anywho, so where we want to go first? I mean, I can't believe I don't have Chrome installed on this thing. Okay, so we are going to want to go to a website called Ton Dot Ninja. Okay, so. You need, first of all, you need to connect a wallet to even start mining with this pool. So click on connect your wallet to start and you can choose a wallet on Telegram, uh, Tonkeeper, MyTon wallet. Personally, I like to choose MyTon wallet because there is a swap. There's a, a swap option in this one where you can swap your, your gram for Ton. So I personally installed this one. So click on that. You can choose to do a browser extension or a desktop. I prefer desktop. So click on install my Ton wallet, download for Windows. And again, I cannot stress enough, you guys do do this at your own discretion. Do this on a device that is not on, that's not your obvious, your, your personal device with your personal information on it. Don't, if, if you have any type of know-how uh, for for networking and VLANs and certain things like this, you don't even want to do this on a computer 
that's on the same network as your main stuff. This is a completely isolated network. It can't talk to any of my other devices. And that's not just for this. This is for any wallet, any mining hardware that you install. You guys just keep yourself safe. Keep your, your information safe. Keep your devices safe. Just keep everything safe and just be very, very careful. And you do this at your own risk. Okay. Anywho. So that downloaded. Let's click open it. Let's click. We'll just install it for me because I'm the only one who logs into this thing anyway. Run my ton wallet. Okay, now create wallet. This is going to give you a seed phrase, and this is not going to be my wallet, so I, I don't really care if you guys see my seed phrase. I'm just going to uninstall this as soon as I'm done anyway. Create a password. Continue. I have read and accepted the information. Backup. Just click all these check boxes. It won't let you won't let you proceed until you click all those. Here's our seed phrase. So now you want to take a screenshot of that. Okay, so then you need to verify some of these words. So you gotta go in and type the fifth word, which is song. The fourteenth word. Oops, up here, which is cost. Sorry guys, doing this one handed. And the 17th word, which is illness. And again, just to reiterate, I don't care if you guys see this seed phrase. This is for just how you got, just to show you guys how this is done. I already have a separate wallet set up and ready to go for this. So I don't care if you see this or not. Okay. So there is our wallet ready to go. So we can get rid of that. So then the next thing we need to do is go back to ton.ninja. Let's see, hit retry. Okay, so now you have to link your wallet and this ton.ninja website. So I just hit retry there, and it's going to ask me, hey, do you want to open my ton wallet? Hit open. And it's going to ask you if you want to connect to ton.ninja. Hit connect. Connect. Okay, now we're connect. So now you see that this has now opened up. This, this part right here will not open up until you connect your wallet. This is instructions on what you need to do to set up mining. So now that we are done with this part, I am going to go over to my real wallet, and then I will show you guys how to set this up in Hive OS. Okay, back in my test wallet VM, and I am back on Ta Ninja. And the, uh, I have obviously connected my, my wallet. So the first thing we need to do right now is we need to create a wallet within Hive OS. So now that your, your accounts are linked, you can either grab your wallet address right here, or you can just click here and it will copy it there. So over in Hive OS, you would click on wallets, add wallet. You are going to click on Graham, or actually not click on Graham, you're going to search for Graham. Be that guy right there. Right click and paste in your wallet address. Name it whatever you want to name it. Cancel, because I already created one. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create a flight sheet. We're going to select Gram again, the wallet that we just created, a pool. We are going to configure that in the miner. In the miner, we are going to select LOL miner. Then we click set up miner config. Okay, so back in ton.ninja, we want to set the hash algorithm to SHA-256-TON. So actually, we uh, we don't need to do that here. You, it's already set up on Gram, so you are good to go there. The next part would be wallet and worker template. So that guy right there, come back over. Hello, 
Come back over here, hover over this eye, click on that. Pool URL. So we are going to copy this part. And then the port is 9999. So we would just paste the server there and then put in the port and pass, just put in an X, whatever. And this is gonna be my 3060 Ti rig, so I'm going to grab my overclocks for this real quick and paste those in. I'm actually going to use the overclocks for Husat. Copy those, I'm using that for my 1660 Super. Uh, I mean, man, I cannot talk today. I'm using the overclocks for LOL Miner on my 1660 Super, same ones that I use for Husat. Uh, for gram and it seems to be working just fine and it has the same same hash rate same power I also use the same overclocks for my AMD cards that I was using for Husat as well for gram and They're performing just fine. So I'm just gonna keep it the same and not really mess with it Okay, so I have my extra arguments in there So then we hit oh, I'm sorry actually before we hit apply changes even though this is on, okay, so right here where it says LOL Miner 1.83, that is the one that we want to be on. So before when I first set this up, I just, I left it at the latest and said, whatever, it'll just grab whatever the newest one is, whether it's 1.83 or after. My Hive OS was actually not up to date and it actually did this on 1.81 and it didn't work. So then I came back in here and I actually manually chose 1.83. And after that, we were we were good. So just uh, just a heads up on that. Make sure you do that. Okay, then apply changes. Now we want to name it. I'm going to call it Graham uh, 3060 Ti Rig. Well, it's called 3060 Ti, whatever. I also have a 3060 on there and a 3080, but it's okay. The overclocks are pretty, pretty dang close. Okay, so I think we're looking good. Create flight sheet. I am 3060 Ti, good. Let's go back to my worker. My 3060 Ti rig is rig three. Right now we are currently on who set. So let's send it off to Graham. Send it to the moon. Now let's go to the user interface and let's check it out. So right now it's installing that version of Hive OS that requires LOL Miner 1.83. Overclock supplied. Starting job. And we have reported hash rate. So we'll let this, oh, there we have some shares too. So we'll let this, we'll let this hang out for a second and then I'll be right back with you. So far I have made 21 gram. So just one thing to note, that's kinda kinda crazy in my opinion, but this Tan Ninja pool takes a 50% commission. Now this 50% is reflected before I'm actually sent, or before you're actually sent the gram. So technically I would have like 42 gram right now but they took half of it that is insanely high holy crap i did check around for other pools or, aren't, or there aren't any other pools this is really the only one i think actually i think there was one other and i think it also takes a very high cut so i will be on the lookout for other pools i don't even think this thing is in mining pool stats let's check it real quick no, it's not even in mining money pool stats. Okay. So I guess then the next thing that would that I would personally want to know is I'm gonna I'm gonna run this for twenty four hours and see what the heck the deal is. But I mean so my estimated revenue is seven hundred grams. So now is that is that before their fifty percent cut? after their 50% cut? I don't know. So if I roll up tomorrow 
24 hours, you know, 24 hours from now and I've only yielded 350 gram, then obviously this is inaccurate. So I guess we'll, we'll find that one out tomorrow. What's up guys? Future Medio Dedio Mining here. Just wanted to let you know that I have found out that in fact, that even though our revenue, $23 a day after after electricity, profits of seventeen eighty two, that does not obviously include the pool side taking 50%. So really profits after power are only $12 a day instead of 24. So just a heads up there. Okay, now back to trying to figure out how to mine this thing. Let's talk about how to withdraw. Okay, so to withdraw, you have to go up here, click on cabinet, connect, and then you need to choose your wallet. We are on my ton wallet. Desktop. Open. Connect. Connect again. Put in the password that you created for the wallet. And then after you connect it, you go back to ton.ninja and you will see this page. So there is a withdraw fee of one gram, which has come down quite a bit because it used to be 10 gram. So just for grins and giggles, let's withdraw. How many do I have? 22. Let's withdraw. Let's withdraw 20. You'll, so the, the amount for the fee does not come from the 20. It will actually come from your wallet. So you want to make sure that however much you withdraw, you need to leave enough to cover the withdraw fee. So click withdraw. And you will see this link down here. Open that. Actually, I don't have Telegram on here, so I will need to download it. Install Telegram real quick. Launch Telegram. Okay, I'm going to set this up, but I'm going to do this so I don't give give away any of my personal information. Okay, now that we have Telegram installed, so what I had to do was I needed to link Telegram with my phone to this desktop. You just follow the instructions. You go into Settings link a desktop, you scan the QR code, and after all that's done, then you come back to ton.wall, or I'm sorry, ton.ninja, open the link here again, open Telegram, and then you click on Start, and here's the gram that I'm receiving right now, 20 grams, 60 cents. Then we are going to click on withdraw. And we are going to use the, oops, sorry. We want gram. And we will choose this one, open network ton for the network. Wow. Okay, well, that is also annoying right there. Okay, so I don't have enough you have to, so it says minimum here of 25 gram, but it's also that there's a 25, that there's a fee for 25 gram. Holy gas prices on this, man. Well, I will stack up a little bit more and then we'll try this again in a little bit. Okay, I mined a little bit more of the coin and then I started the process again of sending it to myself. It's having a little bit of an issue because um, the first time we got to this point, it, got a, it came up pretty dang quick. But when I went back into it and tried to get to it, 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 it hung forever. It was super, super duper slow. And I probably made it worse by constantly clicking on it a hundred times, but I clip, you know, 
I closed out uh, Telegram, redid it. It was still taking forever, and I just let it sit for a little bit, and after a while, it came up. So we now have 44 gram. So let's go to withdraw. Gram. Open network ton. Enter a wallet address or domain to send the ton. Oh, maybe this must be different than maybe it should already have my my wallet because I've already copied it. But you don't know, screw it. We'll we'll try this. Okay, so now we're going to finally send it. But the other thing that sucks is the gas fees are freaking insane. So I have forty four. Uh, I have forty four gram. And the fee to send that is 25 gram or 89 cents right now. So you definitely don't want to be sending crypto or sending this coin all the freaking time, which kind of which kind of sucks for mining this thing and then and then turning around and selling it right away because you're going to waste so much in the transfer. So use max 44 gram. Why not confirm? Would you like to save? sure send a display name that will help you identify the address my other's name will be visible to you I'll just call it my gram okay saved open wallet okay now our gram is gone so now let's see I wonder how long it's going to take to show up here. Well, we'll hang out for a little bit longer and... Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I say that doesn't look quite right. So we're still, we're still receiving a little bit here and there. Okay. Cool. Well, that's how you mine Graham. Holy crap. Pain in the butt. I don't know if I'll be mining this one that long. <laughs> What do you guys think? You guys gonna mine this one? Yay, nay, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Please uh like, subscribe, all that good stuff if this helped you out or if you like this content. I'm done for the day. You guys take it easy. Have a good one.